Roll. Yeah, you gotta roll with the it's punches. It's live radio. Yeah. yeah. Or at least 
put that, make it appear it is. Put that laugh I did in the in the end and keep that in there. So oh, I already killed it. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> We're gonna be talking out of it, so I didn't want to have that in there. All right. Uh, audio transfer. Do you guys have a thumb drive? You want me to put that on? Uh, uh damn, I didn't bring that thumb drive. Okay. <clears throat> Still here. Part was big though. I can't make it on the wrong chord. What's this on the title again? Uh, Heart of Sin. <coughs> Sorry, man. Non point didn't nail it the first time either. <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah. Are it was good sure? up to that point. Are you sure? Not right up to the solo. Damn. Should have been there. So thank you for not showing up. Straighten those assholes up. So we're going straight into the computer because I don't have time to edit. So do you mind if I put this over here? Yeah. Get you in there. Mm -hmm. Put it up there if you want. Uh, I don't think it's retarded, man. I'm not as important as you guys, so <laughs> why don't you put it here? Basically, <laughs> you guys. All right, good idea. This is hard. All right, here we go. Okay, so just so you guys know, the way that I do interviews is I'm not like a formatic interviewer type person. I just talk. I go in completely blank slate. I'm going to ask you questions like, who the hell are you and why should we care? You know, stuff like that's going to sound a little dickish, but honestly, if you're a listener who has no idea and cares not, that's the kind of question they would ask, or they'd be thinking themselves. So yeah. that's how I do interviews. Cool. Reno's Rock Station, Rock 104.5. Fat guy hanging out the New Rock Revelation. You just heard Anchors for Airplanes with After the Fall. Big show happening at the Knitting Factory tomorrow night with these guys, and they came in to hang out with me because they know I'm kind of a, a loser and have no friends. How you guys doing? <laughs> Good. How you doing? What's up, Pat? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm doing well. I'm excited. Brandon, you sent me a song a while back or actually no you didn't i went to your facebook page and i listened to some shiz that you had on there um and i sent you a message saying dude why haven't you sent me some you know something what's going on here <laughs> and uh but you just recorded a new record is that why you hadn't sent stuff to us before or, or what's the deal on that yeah actually uh we're brand grab new. that mic and put it up in your face <laughs> like you're gonna give it a mouth hug <laughs> all right here we go we're uh, actually brand new, so we hadn't sent any music to anybody really. It's a self-recorded CD that we got, and just kind of getting in the market right now. Okay, so you have that that rock sound. I mean, 
and when I was talking with Jay, I'm like, these guys could fit in between, you know, Papa Roach and, um, you know, Five Finger Taco Salad. So, um, <laughs> which isn't a bad thing. I mean, obviously, it's it, it's marketable. Is that a influence based decision, or is that just what you feel when you write? Totally influence. We, uh, you know, we we like good rock. We're we're all about the rock, and we listen to to all those guys. Five finger taco salad to you know <laughs> George throw good and everything in between, so we uh, we just sit down and you know these guys sit down and play guitars and I write lyrics and it comes out just like the bands that we like because that's what we like to listen to. Okay, so I guess I should have done this at the beginning. I'm a rude host and I apologize. Y'all can eat a bag. Um, <laughs> introduce yourselves so that people know or care for a second. What's up? I'm uh, Brandon Singer for Anchors for Airplanes. Okay. And I'm Wade, I'm a guitar player for Anchors for Airplane. Okay. And I'm Travis, I'm the bass player, low end guy. I, I just want to uh, talk about the fact that Travis, you kind of look like a bass player. Just to put that out there. Right? I think that's a compliment. We, we call him compliment. Captain America. I play bass, <laughs> so you know what I'm saying. The bass player usually is the uh, the bigger of of the bunch, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm not. I, I'm. My name is Fat Guy for the love of Jesus Christ and His Latter Day Saints. I'm not making fun. I'm just saying. Bass players bring it big. We do. Yeah. Gotta hold that big, uh, <laughs> that big that thing. That big member. Uh, <laughs> show is happening tomorrow night, Knitting Factory. Um, we're going to talk more about the show here in a little bit, but before we do that, you guys are going to play a song for us. Uh, uh, what song are you going to play? This one's called Heart of Sin. And it's not on the new, the new record that you just recorded. It's actually a brand new song, right? Yeah, brand. Uh, right. Well. It's, it's, a, it's been around for a while, yeah, and we have a, we've reworked it uh, okay. since. So, now, when you're writing music, are you drunk? Are you stoned? <laughs> are you yes getting yes. blowjobs from hot whores? <laughs> I mean, what's going on? What's the process? There? Um, usually, it's uh, it usually starts out with a, a guitar riff of, of some sort, and then everybody kind of comes in and builds around it. Um, so, are you saying right now that without you, nothing would happen? <laughs> I'm saying uh, without guitar players. No. <laughs> He's taking all the glory. Well, we're gonna uh, we're gonna hear this song. It's called Heart of Sin Acoustic. Tomorrow night, Knitting Factory tickets are only what five dollars, right? Yep, that's what I heard. And uh, doors start. Uh, doors are at what six, seven? Uh, doors at seven. Show starts at eight. Okay, here we go. Uh, Anchors for Airplanes, check them out on the Facebook page, just uh, search for Anchors for Airplanes. Also, you can go to our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash k.reno. Here is Anchors for Airplanes, Heart of Sin on Reno's Rock Station, Rock 104.5. Ooh, oh, play it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, is it like yeah. really old? We just from, well, it's from a previous band of ours. Yeah. We reworked it a little bit. We won't tell anyone. Yeah, nobody knows about that band, anyways. Also, will be the first song we're gonna play at the set, so that's kind of cool. Yeah. Play it here, so they'll they'll be like, oh, man, I heard that on the radio. Yeah. It sounds much better now. Yeah, hit that break. Okay, so that's going in. Yay! Woo! That's Anchors for Airplanes, Heart of Sin. Great job, guys. Yeah, thanks. thanks. I, if I had a vagina, it would be sopping wet right now. <laughs> is that is that motivation at all? By the way, it's Reno's Rock Station, Rock 104.5. We're talking about wet vaginas. Um, <laughs> talking about your wet vagina. My wet, yeah. my mangina. <laughs> my mangina is soaking wet. It's swamp mangina right now. Uh, how many of you guys are married? Are you all married? Uh, well, I have two of us are married. Two of us. So the singer is married. Two, two of five. Two of five. That's you. The singer has a beautiful girlfriend at home. Oh, okay. Can we give a shout out to uh, beautiful Miss Terry. Any singles? Uh, no. Bass no. player also has a beautiful fiance. Okay. Home. Yep. The guitar player also has a beautiful girlfriend. So if badge is not the motivation here, it must really be about the music, which is kind of weird. Or the money. <laughs> or the money. <laughs> well, it's you're on music, so it's not about the money, obviously. Yeah, no, we uh, we just love making music, and we've all done it for 
10 plus years. What bands were you guys in before your, uh, you got this together? Uh, most of us, or three members of this band were from an uh, uh, old Reno band called When Echoes Fail. And then uh, me and this guy, Wade, guitar player, were in Tempest together. And, uh, and uh, three of us were also in a band called Taking Names. Taking so Names? Wow. Yeah. Just kind of melded together. Yeah. yeah. It was like a Brady Bunch type situation. Yeah. Right? Pretty much. <laughs> like a Frankenstein of yeah. <laughs> all sorts of different, different types of music. <laughs> Being in Reno, you know, I was up in Anchorage before here, and it was really difficult to tour for local bands and whatnot. But being in Reno, it's actually, you know, you've got 80 right there. I mean, there's so many different spots. Are you guys hitting the road? Are you concentrating on getting out of town? Because there's not a whole lot of places to play and a lot of bands to play them. So I'm assuming that, you know, you, you want to get out to San Fran and SAC and, and stuff like that. Have you played any shows out there yet? Uh, yeah, actually, we're uh, excited to get these two bands that are going to open the show for us uh, tomorrow night, Pushing the Sun, and third of all, both really good bands. Uh, encourage everybody to check them out. They're going to actually help us out with shows over there in the coming months, and uh, there's also a, a radio station out there that's going to help us out. And cool. Try to get us on the, on the road a little bit. Well, let's talk about that show specifically. There's a whole bunch of cool stuff going on. I hear things about giving away tattoos and um you know sex drugs and rock and roll so tell us about this show tomorrow night knitting factory what's it all about it's all about just getting out there and showing people who anchors for airplanes are uh we're excited to get in front of the the audience if there is anybody there but uh thankful for the opportunity but uh this show is all about just you know getting out there and, and seeing if we can do it live okay cool well Give, give us some more details about this tattoo stuff because obviously the music's there, but when people hear you're giving away free tattoos, um, they come a running, right? Yeah, that's what we were hoping. Okay. Uh, we've got a couple of really good tattoo shops on board uh, Nightmare Studios down on Virginia, and also a brand new shop, one of my uh, longtime homeboys, Santi. He's going to be opening a place called Artistic Traditions, and I think it's in January or February of 2014. Those shops are going to be throwing down some tattoos, and uh, I know personally Santi himself is, is going to throw down a, almost $1,200 in tattoos, and uh, yeah, we're, we're just going to do a kind of a raffle thing. People are going to get a ticket. Um, we're going to sell dollar tickets after that and just give away tattoos at the end of the show. Right on. That sounds like an awesome time. Yeah. Um, I know that you guys all have significant others, but we're talking to guys out there right now. Let's face it, most, most of our listeners are guys. <laughs> Do chicks come to your shows? Uh, well, theoretically, yes. That's not the right answer. The right answer when you're marketing is yes. Uh, no. yes. Uh, Tons uh, of women tons come of to Anchor for Airplane shows, and they never wear panties. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, only theoretically, because this is actually our first show ever as, okay. as this band. Right. So doesn't matter. We're hoping so. Yeah. <laughs> Bottom line, you, babe. final <laughs> question before I wrapped up. wrap it up. Why should anyone give a shiz about anchors for airplanes? I mean, seriously, what, what is the bottom line here? If you have a mission statement for your band and you're pitching a movie to, you know, a potential producer, what is your mission statement for anchors for airplanes? Well, I think we're here, you know, we just, we just want to play music, and that's the most important thing to us is to get out there and, and be heard, um, you know, especially in, in Reno. It's, it's hard to do in Reno. We don't have very many venues here to play at. Um, and it's just, it's a good time, and we just... We want to share our good time with everyone else. Okay. Yeah, we're, uh, we're sick of hearing the, uh, the, the, you know, they call it uh, radio rock these days. No offense to KDOT, 104.5 or anything, but we just want to play good music and not be caught up in the whole Miley Cyrus uh, twerking dubstep type deal. We so are you telling me that you're not going to be twerking with each other on stage? No, not saying that. We just don't want to promote that. Okay. I'm just about to say the hell with that. I'm not going. <laughs> Tomorrow night, Knitting Factory. Doors open at 7. It's yep. only five doll hairs, three great bands, three tattoos. Four great bands. Four great bands, sorry. Uh, free tattoos. Whores not wearing pantyhose or panties. Uh, <laughs> or me, pantyhose. me wearing panties. Possibly. <laughs> Get out there and check out the show, guys. Uh, f before I wrap up, um, you have a good thing going. You have a good sound. Keep it up. Thank you, and Thank you very much. It's really cool when bands aren't assholes. You know, uh, between uh, between you guys tonight and Virusman from last night, I really am enjoying working uh, with the Reno bands. And keep it up. Oh yeah, man. Right on, Pat. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Cool, cool.
Thanks. We are good. Sweet. Threw another virus got plug in there. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I didn't mention the show. I, <laughs> I don't care, man. We're friends with those guys. Yeah. <clears throat> and I mentioned your show. Yeah, last I wish I would listen to it. Not during the interview, after the interview. I said, there's two good shows one metal, one rock. Sounds yeah, that's cool, man. I mean, yeah, what does the alley hold anyway? Guys. Like three people? <laughs> Typically. <laughs> <laughs> if I had a vagina, it would. Okay, that is done and that is saved. Please transfer over in time. It should. This bad boy's gonna air at 10. Is there? And yeah. Well, so it'll be at like 10 30. Ah, oh, sweet. 10 30. 10 30. We got time to run home, or you want us to stick around? Or? No, you guys can bail. I got a shitload of other work I got to get done. So, cool, yeah, man. I appreciate you Thanks. coming in. I really we'll appreciate out it. Smart cigarette. Yeah, yeah, cool. It was. Uh, Let me just go in the studio and check my, my nerve wracking, but we really appreciate it, man. I'm really sorry I had to change up the schedule and shit, but I can't pass up on money right now. Shit, uh, yeah, yeah, it's all good. Right. Right. We're, we're just not. we're just glad to be here, man. Yeah. Hey, do you guys have really a awesome two dollars? Dude, don't worry about it. Don't yeah. worry. No. Nah, man. Came Let's in here smoke. And drink you. Freaking thing. <laughs> Give me. Bam. There you go. <laughs> Sorry. Wore <laughs> uh, <so coughs> my voice out earlier. Okay. Tell uh, Simpsons Cup guy thanks as well. No problem.